the world was young and full of miracle and wonder, there lived an old shepherd named Jacob who had many sons. The latest addition to the family was Benjamin. There, there, Benjamin. You grow up to be a good boy, hmm? Big and strong. And with any luck, you'll take after your brother Joseph. You see that, Benjamin? Your brother Joseph's always reading, always thinking. I wonder what's taking my other son so long to gather the wheat, Joseph? Did you say something, Father? Would you go and make sure your brothers are seeing to their work? Yes, Father, right away. Joseph. We were just having a bit of fun. <sighs> Come on. We've got to get this done. We? We break our backs in the fields all day under the hot sun. All you ever do is boss us around. Joseph's too smart to work in the fields. He can read and write. It's not my fault Father taught me to read and write. Admit it. You think you're better than us. No, I don't. I never asked to be put in charge. Then lend us a hand. Here. <laughs> you wouldn't laugh so hard if you knew what I dreamt last night. Oh? Joseph, what did you dream? We were in the fields, making sheaves of wheat. When all of a sudden, my sheep leapt out of my hands and stood straight up. Bundles formed a circle around mine. <gasps> and bowed down to my bundle. Our bundles bowed to yours. What do you think the dream means? I'll tell you what it means. I think Joseph expects us to bow down to him. That's the no, I don't. Thing I ever heard. He does think he's better than us. Maybe we need to teach Joseph a little lesson. for my favorite son. 
But father, it's more fitting that you wear such a handsome coat. I made it for you, Joseph. Wear it with pride. Oh, when my brothers see me wearing this, they'll understand. You go ahead, try it on. It makes you look like a prince. I... I had another dream, father. Dreams, dreams, pools of subconscious and unconscious dreams. The meaning is hidden in the symbols and scenes. He'll tell you the story told by your dreams. He'll tell you the story told by your dreams. Oh. Tell it to me. The meaning is hidden in the symbols and scenes. He'll tell you the story told by your It was dreams. night, and there were 11 stars in the sky. And then the sun appeared, but it stayed dark. Then the stars encircled the sun and bowed down to it. Your dreams are a gift from God, Joseph. Be careful how you use it. I will. Your brothers have moved on to Dothan to tend the flock. I want you to keep an eye on them. Mm. What could happen that we would have to bow down to him? <laughs> I say we deserve a break. Uh, I'm in favor of that. It is hot. As long as there's food, I'm not moving. Mm. Let's slaughter a goat and have a feast. We'll tell Father it wandered off and we lost it. Good idea. Mm. Oh, yes, a great idea. idea. Forget it. Look who's coming. It's the dreamer. Look at what he's wearing. That coat? I've never seen anything like it. We wear rags and he dresses like a prince. This is the last straw. Let's teach him a lesson. We should get rid of him. That'd solve our problems. I've got an idea. Let's take the coat. Yeah, tear it off him. <sighs> That'll teach him to keep quiet. Hello, brothers. Hey! Hey, let go of me! Ugh. You're wearing that coat to mock us, aren't you? No! Where'd you get it? Father made it for me. Let me up! Let's take it from him. Let, let go of my... Uh, what are you... Stop it! Please! You're hurting me! Tie his hands! Stop it! Please! What are you doing? Get him up. This is payback for turning father against us. <laughs> Let's put him in that well. No! No, please! No! Come on! Put him in! <laughs> Keep an eye on him until I get back. Ishmaelite traders will give us 20 pieces of silver for him. You mean sell him? 20 pieces is a lot of money. But didn't Reuben say... Reuben's not here.
Hey, what happened to Joseph? Well, where is he? We, uh, <clears throat> we sold him to the Ishmaelites. What? For 20 pieces of silver? Well, we gotta get him back. Oh, it's too late, Reuben. The Ishmaelites are long gone. What are we supposed to tell father? <sighs> well, we'll think of something. I know. Prepare a goat for slaughter. <laughs> Father, look what we found on our way home. A coat covered in blood. This is Joseph's coat. You don't say. Didn't he join you in Dotham? No. But I, I sent him to you. He never made it. He must have been attacked by wild animals. And this is all that's left of him. No. It can't be. My son! My son! Joseph, now a slave, has been bought by Potiphar, the Pharaoh's chief steward. Thanks to you, Joseph, my house is in order for the first time in ten years. I am pleased that you're satisfied with my work, my lord. I'm more than satisfied, Joseph. You're brighter than my other slaves. You catch on quickly. You can read and write. My father taught me. I feel like I can trust you, Joseph. Tell me, do you think you can handle even more responsibility? Yes, sire. You're in charge of my household, then. I will do my best to serve, my lord. Is there something you want, mistress? Yes, I need assistance in my personal quarters. Your quarters? You're not afraid to be alone with me, are you? I, uh... Come on, then. How can I serve you, mistress? Let me count the ways. <laughs> I've had my eye on you for some time, Joseph. I think you've had your eye on me, too. Don't be ashamed to confess your desire for me. I, um... <clears throat> I, I think that, uh, that I should get back to work. If it's my husband you're worried about, I sent him on an errand. He'll be gone for hours. Um, I, I don't mean to offend you, but I, I... I really must go. Don't you find me attractive, Joseph? Oh, yes, but... Kiss me. I, I, I can't. Potiphar trusts me. If you serve him, you serve me, too. 
Take me in your arms and kiss me, Joseph. I order you to. I, I, I can't. Then I'll tell my husband you did anyway. He'll have you thrown in jail. Have you ever been inside an Egyptian jail, Joseph? Please, don't do this. If you fight me, Joseph, you lose. Give in. Don't you see? You have no choice. <laughs> You'll pay for that. As she threatened, Potiphar's wife made sure that Joseph was thrown in prison. But Joseph was a model prisoner, and soon his good behavior earned him the position of prison supervisor. I had such a strange dream last night. I was in the Pharaoh's fields, tending to a vine with three branches. The buds suddenly blossomed and ripened into grapes. So I squeezed the grapes into his cup and gave his majesty the sacred juice to drink. What do you think it means? Mm, I have no idea. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. Make no mistake, he'll uncover the meaning. Tell Joseph your dreams. For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming. He'll uncover the plot and the themes. A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing. Tell Joseph your dreams. I can tell you what your dream means. <laughs> Who invited you into our conversation, Hebrew? I'm sorry. I, I was only trying to be helpful. Wait. Tell me what you think the dream means. The three branches of the vine represent three days. In three days, you will be pardoned and return to your position as cupbearer to the Pharaoh. This is wonderful news. How can I ever repay you? Perhaps one day you can ask the Pharaoh to pardon me. Yes, if what you say is true and I get my freedom back, I'll be sure to put in a good word for you. <clears throat> I uh, also had a dream last night. Can you interpret mine as well? Go ahead. I had... Uh, Three baskets filled with breads and pastries for the pharaoh. When birds flew out from the sky and ate off the breads in my basket. Hmm. The three baskets in your dream also mean three days. But I'm afraid the news is not good. Tell me. In three days, you will be taken from the prison and hanged by order of the Pharaoh. I... I don't believe you. You're, you're just trying to scare me with your lies. I curse you, Hebrew. As Joseph predicted, the cupbearer was freed and the baker was hanged. But two years passed before the cupbearer remembered his promise. Your wine, Pharaoh. Not now. Can't you see I'm in anguish? What's wrong, sire? No one can tell me the meaning of my two dreams. Not even the wisest men in Egypt! Sire, two years ago, in prison, 
I met a man with a gift for reading dreams. Perhaps he can shed light on things. Cupbearer says you can interpret dreams. Yes, sire. My father told me it was a gift from God. I hope your God is with you today, because if you disappoint me, both you and the Cupbearer will be sent back to prison and remain there for the rest of your lives. Tell me your dream, Pharaoh. When you awake from a slumber of dreaming, tell Joseph your dreams. Make no mistake, he'll uncover the meaning. Tell Joseph your dreams. For Joseph can speak in the language of dreaming. He'll uncover the plot and the themes. A glimpse of tomorrow and what it's revealing. Tell Joseph your dreams. I was standing on the banks of the Nile when seven of the healthiest cows I had ever seen appeared out of the water. As those cows grazed in the reeds, seven of the skinniest, sickest cows I've ever seen appeared out of the Nile too. Scrawny cows came up behind the healthy cows and devoured them, ate them whole. And then I dreamt that seven ears of grain, the largest and most golden grain I had ever seen, grew up out of the ground. But as I was admiring the golden grain, seven ears of sun-seared dying grain grew up out of the ground and ate the healthy grain. Same thing. God is telling you what he intends to do. Mm -hmm. The seven healthy cows and the seven healthy years of grain mean seven years of great abundance. The seven sick cows and seven years of dead grain mean seven years of terrible famine. about this my lord you need to collect food now while it's plentiful and prepare for the seven years of famine yes I see now what must be done and you Joseph you will be in charge of collecting the food me your highness yes I believe that you are the wisest man in Egypt give me your finger Joseph This signet ring is a symbol of your new appointment as High Governor of Egypt. After me, you will be the most powerful man in all of Egypt. I am honored, sire. For seven years, Joseph traveled all over Egypt collecting food.
thanks to Joseph, Egypt was prepared. But the people of Canaan went hungry. Go to Egypt and buy food for our village. It's our only hope of survival. Benjamin will stay with me. in Egypt. We've come to buy food. Our people are starving. How do I know you're not spies? We're not spies. We're honest men. I swear it. How can we prove we're telling the truth? Do you have any other brothers? Our youngest brother stayed behind. One of you will go home and bring this youngest brother back to me. But, my lord, our father will never let him go. There must be some other way. Please, guards, escort these spies to our jail. <gasps> but we're not spies! How long will we rot in this jail? Spend three days and not a word from the governor. We must bring Benjamin to Egypt as he asked. It's our only way out. Father won't allow it. We could be here forever. Why is this happening to us? I'll tell you why. We're being punished for what we did to Joseph. Joseph? What's Joseph got to do with this? What were you thinking to sell Joseph as a slave? We broke Father's heart and made God angry with us. Reuben's right. We went too far with Joseph. We lost our heads. If this is our fate, to rot in prison, then we brought it on ourselves. I've thought it over, and I'm willing to give you a second chance. If you bring me your youngest brother, I will let you all go free. Well, do as you wish, my lord. You. What is your name? Simeon. You stay behind. The others will go and fetch the young one. Fill their sacks with food and return their silver. Yes, my lord. Egypt. Look, someone's returned our silver. Are you sure? Yes. What has God done to us? Why has everything gone against me? Father, I will be responsible for Benjamin. If we don't bring him back to you safely, you can have my own two sons. No, I'm not taking any chances with Benjamin. I already lost Joseph. will lose Simeon.
father. We must return to Egypt with Benjamin. It's our only hope. Think of poor Simeon. And we need Egypt. It's our only source of food. But this is what I want you to do. Pack our best nuts, olives, and oils, and bring them to the governor of Egypt as a gift. Here is double the silver. Return the original silver, and then pay for more grain. And don't let anything happen to Benjamin, or I will die in great sorrow. Joseph prepared a great feast. You may enter. Wait. Please, sir. When we returned home, we found that someone had secretly returned our silver. You may think we stole it, but I swear to you, we didn't. Please, take it back. There's no reason to worry. The governor returned your silver. Now, come for the feast. It's in your honor. Brothers! Simeon, you are well. I expect you're all being treated well. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So, tell me about your father. Is he... Still alive? Alive and well, my lord. He has sent you these gifts to express his gratitude to you. And is this your youngest brother? Yes, it is. God be good to you, my son. <clears throat> well, I... I have business to attend to. Excuse me. It's my brothers. Maybe it's time you told them who you are. No, I, I will, in time. Seeing them after all these years has confused me. Do you forgive them for what they did? Yes, I think so. Feast. Joseph made sure that Benjamin had the best of everything. I want you to fill their sacks with as much food as they can carry and return their silver. Then, I want you to take my silver cup and put it in the sack of the youngest brother. Very well, sir. Look, it's the governor. 
Commissioner Stewart coming after us. What have we done now? Someone stole the Master's Silver Cup. It wasn't us. Why would we repay your Master's kindness by stealing from him? If you're innocent, you won't mind showing me what's in your sacks. You're welcome to search our sacks. Look. You took the cup, Benjamin? I know it looks bad, but I swear I, I didn't take it. But it's in your sack. But I didn't take it. We'll let the governor decide what to do about this. My lord, how can we make things right again? <sighs> Benjamin was the thief. He will stay behind as my slave. The rest of you may go. I beg you, my lord, don't take Benjamin from us. It would break our father's heart. Why should I be merciful to a thief? We've done our best to please you. We returned the silver. We brought Benjamin to you. The young boy means all the world to our father. If he lost Benjamin too, it would kill him. I beg of you, have mercy on me. Everyone, leave us. You may rise. I can take this no longer. Don't you recognize me? Brothers, recognize you? I am Joseph. J Joseph? But that's impossible. But it's true. I am the brother you sold into slavery. Oh, Benjamin. The last time I saw you, you were just a baby. But you're the high governor of Egypt. How can you be the brother that we sold as a slave? Because I could understand the hidden meaning of dreams, the Pharaoh appointed me high governor. I predicted the famine and made sure that Egypt was prepared. It was God's plan all along. Go tell father the news and bring him and the family here to live with me. gifts. Father, we're back with unbelievable news. Is Benjamin with you? Here I am, Father. <sighs> Let me look at you. Oh! What's the good news? Joseph is alive. Impossible! 
It's true, Father. Not only is he alive, but he's the governor of Egypt. The governor? It was Joseph who saved the land from the famine. And he wants us all to come to Egypt and live with them. It's a miracle, Father. Come see the gifts Joseph sent to you. This is from Joseph? Jacob, Israel. Who calls for me? It is God, the God of your grandfather Abraham and your father Isaac. Do not doubt your sons, Jacob. Joseph awaits you in Egypt. You will go to Goshen, where you will be reunited with him. There, I will make your people into the great nation of Israel and then someday return you to your land. So go now and live in peace for the remainder of your days. Is it you? It really is you, my son. And after many years, Joseph was reunited with the man who gave him the courage to lead a great nation and save the world from famine. His father, Jacob.